Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. I don't talk too much about hair on my channel, but it is definitely something that I want to focus on growing out this year. Now, there are so many natural hair gurus with beautiful, luscious, long locks, but I wanted to start from the very beginning. So, in this video, I'm not going to talk too much about my hair journey or anything, but I'll cover that in a different video. When I started my skincare journey, one of the first ingredients I tried was apple cider vinegar. So it only felt fitting to start off my hair journey with apple cider vinegar as well. For the past 14 days, I've been using an apple cider vinegar rinse on my hair to see what it would do for my dry scalp. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys exactly what happened. So if you guys like content like this, make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. months ago, I filmed an I Tried It video documenting my experience using vitamin A as well as zinc, and I mentioned that it really dried out my skin. So not only did it dry out my skin, it also dried out my scalp. And I started experiencing what I thought was at the time um, dandruff, but it's not dandruff. Dandruff, dand I'm sorry, there's this fly going at my light right now. Dandruff typically occurs when you have excess oil production on your scalp and it produces dandruff. <laughs> um, but when you have drier scalp, it just starts to flake, just like on the rest of your skin. If you have dry spots on your face, you pick at them, which don't do, they start to flake. And I've experienced this before. This typically happens in the winter, my legs as well as my scalp. And I really wanted to try something to help get rid of that. As always with my I Tried It videos, I want to be very accurate. So these are the products that I used in my wash day. So first, <clears throat> I have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. And I use this one specifically because it has the apple cider vinegar in it as well. So I just felt like it was fitting. Um, then I would use the rinse and I have it in this dropper bottle so I can get straight to my scalp and I use that and then while the apple cider vinegar was still in my scalp I put on my intensive hydrating hair mask with Manuka honey from Shea Moisture as well and I've been using this for such a long time oh, it smells so good and it's basically empty but this is one of my favorite hair masks so this right here is just a little bit of footage of what my hair what my scalp looked like before I even tried this as you can see like I am gently scraping the top of my scalp and these flakes are just flying like I had to put the camera a little bit far back so I didn't get the flakes on my actual lens but this is what it looks like all the time all throughout the winter it is super dry and itchy and it's something I really wanted to try to get rid of this may be a little bit TMI for some people but this is what happens this is what happens in the winter with my scalp it happens with a lot of people I'm sure I'm just watching the footage in front of me and I think that this is the worst that my dry scalp has really ever been and it was absolutely exacerbated by the fact that I was using vitamin A at the time so I just really wanted to do something that would alleviate some of this scratch -nissa -nissa -nissa. Anyways, so let's stop watching that. So for day number one, I did the rinse and blow dried my hair as I typically do. And I wanted to just go through my scalp and take a look and see what we found. What do y'all think? Okay, so there's a little bit of flake right here in the back. But for the most part, I think it looks okay. No flaking. So my scalp scratching is something that I do in my routine all the time. And it's because my scalp needs exfoliation, just like your skin does your scalp needs exfoliation. And I really haven't been using it too much. So that's probably why this was occurring as well. But um, after scratching my scalp a little bit, washing it out and blow drying it, I felt like the scalp looked really clean, which is a beautiful place to start. But I wasn't getting ahead of myself because we know that in the next four days, uh, things don't always appear the same. <laughs> Four days later, it was time to refresh my hair. My typical hairstyle is two cornrows because I am really lazy and I don't really do too much with my hair. But um, so refresh days are pretty easy. So I took down my cornrows, I put a little bit of oil in my scalp, 
and I wanted to check and see how my flakes were doing. So I have my hair oil, which is basically jojoba oil and tea tree oil. And then I also have this nourishing styling cream from Living Proof, and that's what I'm gonna be moisturizing my ends with. I have, of course, my large comb to comb it out, as well as my hair um, comb. So we're gonna start with the rat tail comb and go through it and just kind of see how many flakes I have. Now I've read a lot about dandruff. What I have is not dandruff, it's just dry scalp because I have a dry scalp. If you have dandruff, it's you have an oily, oil, overproductive oil glands on your scalp. That's not what I have. Mine is simply because my scalp is dry, my hair is dry, my scalp is dry. My oil glands do not produce enough oil for this to be effective. This usually happens in the winter all the time. In the summer, my scalp is just fine, but in the winter, it gets like this. So I've done all my scratching and I'm gonna put the oil just in the front, just here in the crown section. That's where I get most of the good stuff. But here we go with the oil. I'm gonna start from the back and work my way through the hair, just distributing the oil everywhere. Once your head feels nice and warm, then it's time to actually go ahead with our nourishing cream and just lightly moisturize the hair. I don't wanna to put too much because then it would start to revert and that's not what we want. We just wanna get some moisture in there. Personally, I like to twist my ends because it makes it a lot easier to unloose. All right, but that's it. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that is what we look like. I'm gonna keep this for the next four days or so, and then we'll wash again. On day number seven, it was time to rewash my hair. Now during this week, my scalp was getting really, really itchy, so I usually keep a pin in my cornrow that really helps me get to those areas. It looks a lot better personally than just doing that all the time. You just get a little pin, it looks really elegant. So that's what I started doing. So it's the end of the week and it's time to wash my hair. As I've showed before, I'm gonna go ahead and just take down my braids and then we're gonna check our scalp and see if we've got any flakes. Just gonna wet the hair just a little bit, just to make it easier to section. But I'm going to pre-poo a little bit later. Um, let's zoom in and see what our scalp is looking like. So down the center, this is where the scalp is exposed anyways. So it's a little bit more than there was last time, that's for sure. But I'm just gonna finish up with my wash day and I will see you guys a little bit later. I just remember it being really, really itchy during this time. It typically is. I don't believe the itchiness was because of the apple cider vinegar. Um, I think that's just how my scalp is. It's always really itchy. Most of my scratching is just centered to this part, like the crown and the front of my hair. When you get down to the sides, there's nothing there as well as the back. It's just this particular area. So this is where I focus most of the rinse as well. 
During the second week, my scalp actually got a lot better. It wasn't itchy pretty much at all. I don't remember having like a, a real urge to itch my scalp or anything. It just felt like a head, <laughs> like normal. And I don't remember it being very, very flaky. So it's been four days since I've washed my hair and it's time to re-moisturize for the week. Um, we're gonna take a look under the hood and see how we're doing. My hair honestly feels really moisturized and if it wasn't because I'm on a strict routine, <laughs> I, I don't think it needs much moisture. So that's a good sign. Um, but anyways, we're going to spray with just a little bit of water. I have aloe vera and water in this keep curl or curl keeper, sorry, water bottle. Just a few spritz. We're not looking for reversion. <laughs> And a little bit on this side. Right. Just to moisten the hair. Start with the middle. Just a little bit, but nothing crazy. Okay. Let's go a little further in. Okay, it's a little bit drier here. A few flakes, but... Okay, there's a little bit more. But honestly, this looks a lot better than last time. That's honestly not bad <laughs> compared to what it looked like before. Yeah, much, much better. pretty darn good. I don't have anything bad to say about it. This side is typically a little bit worse, so. Really? Nothing? Okay, a little bit over here. This has honestly been the fastest scratch session that I have ever had. Like, I can't even, I can't make this up. I'm moisturizing with the R&B Hair Moisturizer from Lush. And then on my scalp, I just have jojoba oil and my tea tree oil combined. But yeah, this is honestly the fastest scratch session I have ever had. I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair and then re-corner it one more time and then I will see you guys on wash day. Post treatment I am still actually using this apple cider vinegar in my scalp. Um, it's been four weeks now that I've tried using this apple cider vinegar and my hair feels really good. My scalp is no longer itchy and I don't have these excessive flakes. There are still a little bit of flakes, but it's getting less and less and less every time I use this treatment. The hair itself feels really, really soft and it's really shiny. And I absolutely think it has something to do with this apple cider vinegar. So I do honestly think that if you're someone who suffers from a dry scalp, this is something that you may want to try to help you out. It has helped me significantly reduce that dryness as well as the itch. And I will continue to use this. I'll probably give you guys an update later on after I've used this for a longer period of time to see if it really would just curb some of that dryness there. But um, so far, I really do enjoy using the apple cider vinegar. I did end up putting orange peel, I believe, in it, so it smells a lot better. Um, but yeah, I do, I do like that a lot. Naturally, apple cider vinegar is an exfoliator. It contains AHA and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. So this was absolutely what I was experiencing. One thing I do want to mention if you're someone who's considering using this is just be careful about how many times you're using it. Just like you don't want to exfoliate your face every day, you don't want to exfoliate your scalp every day, there is something called excessive exfoliation and it can have negative effects. 
especially if you're someone who already has dry hair. So color treated hair, if you have fine hair, very important to make sure that you're not overdoing it with this because it has the capability of really drying out your hair and causing it to be brittle and maybe even break. So I would remake this with a little bit more humectant in it, perhaps like glycerin, just to protect my actual hair, which is why I chose to use a deep conditioner while I'm using it rather than just using it straight up. I've seen people use a spray bottle, but personally I just want it on my scalp, not on my actual hair. So I made sure to use a dropper bottle. So for this experiment, because it was the first time that I was using it, I was trying to exfoliate the skin and I hadn't exfoliated my scalp in a very long time, it was fine to use it back to back um, on my weeks. But now since I've used it for four weeks in a row, four wash days in a row, I'm gonna start using it on a monthly basis as a clarifying rinse. Something to just help me clarify my hair, get rid of any buildup or anything like that. But you don't have to use it every single wash day. I'm gonna be using it every month on a wash day. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried apple cider vinegar for your scalp. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And even if you have any other tips for dealing with dry scalp, please drop them down below so we can all be educated. As always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.